Yeah, so for the last couple of weeks, I've actually tried using Emacs and especially Space Max, Space Emacs, and of course also Doom Emacs. I don't know, it's something that it's really drawing and it really speaks to me, this kind of text editing. I'm not a professional uh, or, or programmer or programmer or coder in any way but I think that space Emacs Emacs in general is very good for writing documentation and writing uh, what I do and it is writing fiction and poetry but holy moly it's very hard very difficult for a non-technical person and I am not a coder so I installed Space Emacs and I used it for a couple of weeks and I actually beginning to understand it the, the whole madness behind it however I found this alternative called Typora and it is just so much easier it actually supports Markdown just as uh, Emacs and all the flavors. And uh, I like Markdown. It can help me organize my document, especially when writing a nonfiction and even, and especially, you know, longer fiction as a novel. Um, so I installed Tepora, of course, Linux version, and this is how it's done copy this piece of code putting it into the timeline or terminal sorry terminal of course writing a password and this thing is just adding the the Teporus repository to the ubuntu <laughs> next step is of course posting adding the repository to uh, Linux and then you just sudo apt update to update your repositories and then just sudo apt install uh, Typora to install uh, the program it takes only a minute it's 66 6.7 megabytes so it's not a large package and then I start the Pora and this is how it looks when you um, fire it up for the first time very clean very very clean I like the minimalist style okay, we can just write text right off this is just a text let's see how it handles all of this I think it handles pretty well I like the way it looks Here we can put a title. What I like about this uh, program is that you can have an outline scene 
on the left side so when you put your headlines and your you know chapter names and mark them as headlines they will be shown in the outline on the left side this way you can really hop uh, between different chapters very easily uh, you don't have to scroll up and down so this is really something that uh, appeals to me and I find it very very useful so this is something that really has you know it's the same functionality as uh, Emacs of course it's much it's done in different way but uh, the outline is there and you can have these headings very easily and you can jump between them so it it reminds me of the org mode of uh, emacs you can put table of contents in there very easily and it just looks uh, quite nice and um, minimalistic just the way i like it there's a focus mode so when you write and you are in a you know paragraph it's only that paragraph that is uh, uh, focused on as you can see it here the other chapters are uh, out of focus and here we have different themes i think the these five themes are nice however i uh, wanted to something different but let's see that later on let's see how it exports the file to let's say pdf as you can see it looks like this it's pretty nice and you have even your chapters when you add them as headings you can have all the chapters on the left side in within pdf so it's easy to export it to you know as a book or ebook so very very nice here we have preferences for typora you can make it you know auto saving you can change languages customize your shortcuts if you need to and themes install uh, other themes or even customize the existing ones here is the typorus theme repository i'm always on the lookout for minimalist very easy on the eye themes here we have touring not too fond of the font here's the paper and let's download paper theme we can extract it here and then let's see we need to copy it into Tepora themes paper css i can open it in my text editor if i need to change some of stuff okay it's using computer modern font it's very slick font still can't see it here let me save this as plain text file maybe just text yes I start Depora again. Yeah. 
And here we have the new theme that I just installed called paper. And look how beautiful it is. This is just what I need. Yeah, let's write some awesome stuff, except you don't write with write, right? And let's export it once again, this time as HTML. So how does it look as a web page looks? Pretty, pretty awesome, man. Look at it. Great stuff. So yeah, this is uh, Typora. You can export it uh, as PDF, as HTML, LaTeX, or whatever. It looks awesome. It's very easy to use. It's not, you know, it doesn't have steep learning curve as uh, Emacs. I mean, it's horrible getting into Emacs. It's like uh, wanting to enter a gulag or a concentration camp. I mean, it's just sane people don't go there. Look at it. It just looks very functional and easy on the eye. Many export uh, possibilities. So it's just, I just like it and I can recommend it.